What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. I hope you're all having a good day. I have such a habit of going to the daily every day, but uh, I'm not really interested in playing the daily. They've, they've scarred me a little bit from that daily achievement that held us back from the completion of the game, but uh, we ended up getting it the other day. If you missed it, I did post it on YouTube. It was a YouTube episode. Um, so we started with Glass Cannon again here, huh? Okay, okay. Uh, and we also started with an HP up, which isn't the best for Eden. You know, you always want to start with something fun for Eden. And we also have this wild-ass haircut again. It seems like ever since... Is this just me? Or ever since they added the new Eden haircuts, it feels like we just keep getting the new Eden haircuts? Like, I'm not mad about it. It just seems... Is, like, is there a higher percentage chance to get the new haircut? That seems a little strange, right? It, would, it should be all be the same amount of chance to get the the each Eden haircut, you know? They should each have a certain percentage. I don't know what that percentage would be, but... Um, all right, well, this is an XL, an early XL. Uh, I don't know if I should use this glass cannon, like, ever. I mean, we have three... We have three red heart containers, right? So if we use it, it'll bring us down to half a heart. And I guess if there's red hearts on the room, you could justify it. I also don't know if it has anything to do with your deal with the devil precedent. Um, I don't think it does, but you never know. Large zit, which is okay. You know, it's a tier modifier. I'm all about tier modifiers. And the D infinity. Oh, that was the D12. Whoops. <clears throat> it's all right. I guess we'll take the D infinity because I, I, I don't want to use the... Oh, this is, this is beautiful. I don't want to use glass cannon and like if the longer i hold on to it the more tempted i'll be to use it and those two soul hearts are actually really huge considering this is an xl so we are about to run into a deal with the devil opportunity these creep shots are quite interesting i i'm wondering do they slow him down i honestly haven't had the zit very often if at all like i'm sure i mean we've touched it because we've completed the game so but I believe it was on like a greed mode run where I had a lot of other shit going on. So it's hard to it's hard to figure out what it actually does. I'm assuming since it's white, it's slowing them down. It's really hard to say. Uh, but Blood Clot is good enough for me. You know, it's a damage up every other tier. I'm down with it. Wish I had a bomb here, but I don't. Um, okay, got rid of one. All right, not so bad. Now we're on to the big haunt. And yeah, he is getting slowed down. And I'm assuming it's from the creep shots. Because I don't have, like, spider bite or anything. Which, that's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, it's not like a damaging creep. It just slows him down. As you can see there. Oh, I thought it was going to give us the opportunity to hit him with the TNT. That's a rip. Get him! Nice. All right, let's see what he drops. And Binky is awesome. That's a size down, tears up. And then we get... Freaking Abaddon, which is awesome. Um, you know, we'll just take it straight up. And the the more and more good items I get, the less and less I want to, you know, kind of use the D-Infinity. Because then we get back in that D-100 range, which is like, you know, how I feel about the D-100. It's, uh, when used too often, it loses its luster. And this D-Infinity will eventually turn into a D-4 or a D-100. Both re-roll your whole runs. Uh, also the reroll stats, the D8 is gonna eventually show its face, which I don't love. The D12, what, it, what even is, see, yeah, now we have the D8. I'm actually probably gonna not D8, because we have a really good stat line right now. We have a decent tier rate, courtesy of Binky. We have a good damage stat, courtesy of Abaddon and, uh, Blood Clot. And I guess the DPS is up as well, because of Binky, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Our speed is slightly above one, which is good enough for me. Uh, I don't see the benefit in de-aiding right now. I really don't. I hope I just get, like, box of spiders or any sort of, even, like, mom's bra. Just some sort of space bar item. Okay, it's Papa Fly, who isn't, like, bad, but not amazing. And then TNT, which is a space bar item, which, you know, we could take. Because we were just talking about how we want to move away from this, uh, the infinity. But I, I don't know about TNT either. I mean, it is a free bomb, basically. 
I don't know. We'll see. I, I guess why not take it right now? Actually, that bomb is really valuable considering we could use it on the reroll machine. And uh, again, let me just rehash this. A lot of people are always like, oh, why do you use money on the reroll machine? Because it makes it last longer. If you were to bomb it, it doesn't reroll as many times before it breaks. Then if you were to put money into it, you get more rerolls out of it. Um, we'll go fight the boss because we we can. We're right here. It might as well. We haven't gotten uh, our shop, but we have zero money because we put some into the reroll machine. I want to hold on to this bomb because this is looking like maybe the only way we could reroll out of TNT. Which, again, it is a takeable space bar item right now. We could always re-roll it into something that isn't takeable uh, or an item that is just completely useless to us. So we got to be careful of that. Why is he purple? Was that is that a champion or was he feared the whole time? I'm a little confused there. Uh, tears down pill. That's complete trash. But it, it, Binky still has netted us, I think, a one tier up. Tier, tier down, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we're going to pop this down here. Oh, couldn't have gotten any worse right there. Uh, what do we do here? What do we do? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Um, yeah. We'll check this out. Hopefully it's like uh, two of diamonds so it can make our one cent two cents. And we could try to re-roll that item room. It's Ace of Spades. High Priestess. Uh, Ace of Spades. No, we're, we're going to swap out the Ace of Spades for that. And then we're actually just going to Hermit card out of here so we don't get hurt. Uh, we have one cent to dump into the re-roll machine. Hopefully clearing these rooms will either give us a bomb or some more money. So we can, you know, re-roll out a Sacred Heart. Or whatever. Not a Sacred Heart. Isaac's Heart. Uh, we've already done this room. And there's the boss. I think we're about full cleared here. So we have to, you know, pray this one cent re-rolls it, which I doubt it will. Let me just make sure we've explored everything. Because this item room... Ooh. Ooh, baby. All right. Hopefully that gets us a new item that we could take. You know, it could have been worth it. It's really hard to tell. Until you start dumping money in. And it was worth it. 100% worth it. One heart to get Infestation 2. Yes, please. May I have another. That's going to be a big yes for me, dog. Love Infestation 2. One of the best items in the game, in my opinion. And uh, we basically sacrificed a black heart for it. Which is totally doable. Totally doable. The tears down is kind of showing its uh, rearing its ugly head here, if you will. It does feel like my tears did go down a decent amount, even though I think it was only a one point uh, increase. And I say increase because it is an increase. You want to decrease. Tears are like golf, man. Oh, tears are like golf, and I want to be Tiger Woods, if you know what I'm saying. Going in like a Tiger Woods putt. Okay, we got Amnesia, which for some reason I felt like we had Curse of the Lost on this floor, but maybe we did. Maybe Amnesia did just pop it into the uh, Curse of the Lost territory. No, nope, we had Curse of the Lost. My, my intuition was right. So that Amnesia actually effectively did nothing for us. In a good way, I guess. I mean, not really in a good way, in a, in a neutral way. Um. Okay. I'd rather not, you know, see Curse of the Lost this whole freaking run, but... Yeah, Sometimes it's just how the cookie crumbles. And thank you, my friend, little green nub, for hitting Fat Bat there. Uh, is this worth it? You don't know until you find out. That makes no sense. <laughs> is this worth it? You don't know until you find out. Sure, Jay. That's very eloquently put, dude. Well done. You should write books. For the younger generation. Okay. Okay. Now we found our item room. Health up. That's actually pretty good. If we could fill that red heart in with anything like that, then we can actually give it away for the deal with the devil. And this is a shop, which is interesting. I'm, I'm like drawing a blank on if we found the item room yet. I feel like we went this way and there was nothing. Yeah. Am I, am I drunk, dude? 
Did we see the item room? I do this once an episode, it seems. Sometimes I vocalize it, and other times I don't. Other times, like, oh, yeah, we're going to backtrack, blah, 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 blah. And, then, like, in the back of my head, I'm like, dude, I'm backtracking because I have no idea if I found the item room. Um, but this time, I'm being completely candid and telling you guys I have no idea if I found the item room. Uh, I don't think I did now that I found this room that we could fight. So I'm assuming the item room is up here. Uh, so I digress. And there it is. Right there. Right on cue, baby. We look we look very interesting with this hair and infestation, too. <clears throat> Get him. Get him. A lot of people saying, oh, after the Eden streak. First of all, there's going to be no after the Eden streak. This is going to go on forever. <clears throat> Does that help with uh, Beelzebub? Big fan Infestation 2? No, Infestation 2 spiders. Well, that's not flies. What am I on about? Yeah, but there's going to be no after the Eden streak, guys. Come on, what the hell? Uh, but yeah, people were saying you should do another save file after the Eden streak. Yes, and sort of no, because... I do want to check out mods, and uh, I don't know. Are, like, the mods on the workshop compatible with other mods? Like, I would love to compile my own mod pack of my favorite mods and just play Isaac that way for, you know, until we get burned out of it or whatever. Um, but I don't know if they're... I just fear that, like, with recording Isaac, you run into the into the problem of like crashing and then it's like it's so anticlimactic while recording an Isaac and then like being halfway through the run and then being like oh it crashed um so yeah I don't I don't know I don't know what exactly how I'm gonna handle the modded runs I know I could do mod showcase type stuff where I only do one mod or whatever to not risk crashing but I would love to be able to like pick and choose certain mods from the workshop put them all you know subscribe to them all and then be able to do runs like that and have my own personal mod pack of items I like. And items I think are balanced and, and fit in the game and yada, yada, yada. Uh, two hearts. And there's a brimstone and pentagram. Let's shoot this fire. Okay. Interesting, my friend. We'll take the coin purse. I'm not going to pop these because I don't know if one of these is telepills. And um, we haven't had brimstone in a while. But I feel like it's just too lame. I'm not going to I'm not gonna take brimstone. These are all unknown, really. One's got to be a tears up. Rip. Yeah, brimstone, we could get it for one heart, guys. I'm not going to do it. It would make this run very uninteresting. <laughs> Uh, maybe not for you guys, but for me, it would make it very uninteresting. Brimstone kind of sucks the life out of a lot of runs for me. I know it would easily be GG if I took it. Uh, not only because we have Infestation 2 and our spiders would hit and knock very hard. Um, something about Brimstone, man. I just, I, I'm not a huge fan. Unless you get like quad shot, homing shot, you know, in rubber cement Brimstone, then it's fun. But those are uh, niche uh, circumstances. And probably won't happen to us on this run. You never know, but um, I don't know. I'd rather a cool tier. And we have a decent tier right now that could turn into a cool tier. So who knows? We'll hold out for better better things, more interesting things, I should say. Not necessarily better things. Um, is that going to be the reason we lose? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but I, think, I don't think we're underpowered enough right now to justify taking Brimstone, which would... You know, I think take the interest level out of the run a little bit. Oh, my. I mean, big fan's definitely not the best uh, orbital to deal damage with, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. This guy is so confused. Tears up. Bad trip. What is happening? When it rains, it pours, I guess. We've had some, like, neutral and bad pills uh, plaguing this run a little bit. Um, well, we will probably just end up taking this because the D-Infinity, like I said, is just kind of sitting there. I don't really love the idea of rerolling stats, especially when we picked up Abaddon and all these damage ups like Pentagram. It could, like, render them completely useless. It's like... I don't know. I'm not about that life. I love reroll stats when I'm not doing so hot. If I have like a terrible tier rate or something, 
Reroll stats is a godsend, but in this situation, it just seems one, not that interesting, and two, just not that beneficial. So I understand it's the D Infinity, and I could get past the D8 and then get to the D4 and D100, but I don't think I want to reroll this run. It just seems like a good enough run to kind of build off of. Um, here we go. Going to get hit by this room because I always do. Nope, we feared one and kind of solved the issue there. Whoa, buddy. Give you a little pathway over here. Kind of because I want this half soul heart. There you go. That was satisfying. Um, so we already got our item room. We didn't get our shop room. Shop room? What the hell am I talking about? Uh, let's do this just to see. It's not. I was going to see maybe we could swindle away to get into the curse room for free. But I'm totally okay with checking out the curse room just because. We're doing uh, okay on health. Oh, man, that troll bomb was beautiful. Not this one, though. We, are, we don't need two troll bombs. Let's check out what's in here. We don't even have a bomb to access that because I burned a bomb trying to get to the secret room, which I wouldn't even had another bomb to get to the curse room. So there's that. You know, Isaac. Isaac and commentating at the same time. That's, that's something that happens. That's something that happens. I think one of the most underrated sprites in the game are those guys with the homing, like the hole in their head with the purple fire. Uh, I don't know. I think they look so badass. I feel like I understand that Ragman is kind of like a homing purple flame boss, but I always go back to that one anti-birth boss that is like almost like a haunt, but has like the purple fires. Uh, that boss is badass. I feel like I want that in... And I want all the anti-birth bosses in Afterbirth, honestly. I really, really, really love those bosses. Um, well, interesting. You know, I mean, you know what I was debating there is the fact that we have uh, the Eternal Heart generator for our spacebar item and the fact that the Potato Peeler was there. If we somehow, going back again to anti-birth, had the backpack, which the backpack is an item that lets you carry uh, two spacebar items... That would be an amazing synergy. You know, basically be able to create your own red hearts and then turn those red hearts into uh, meat boys, which is awesome. But uh, yeah, I could probably try to, you know, milk this uh, floor for all the pennies that we can, considering I have a bomb and we could check out the, or sorry, bomb the donation machine and try to get some more money that way. But I don't know. I don't know if it's necessary. Okay, we're going to get little Gish here. Nothing too exciting. And we missed on the 36% chance to get to deal with the devil. And I'm good on everything else. Because you have to understand, we only have a chance to bomb the donation machine once. And the little beggar there. And to swindle nine cents out of that seems a bit rich. I mean, there's no sense in waiting to use. Oh, wait. Maybe I should have used it on the first. I don't know. Yeah, I think, I think you could swindle away to to net yourself a heart or two hearts, basically get yourself a heart on the floor and then use the eternal heart again right before you leave. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't play with the prayer card a lot, so <laughs> cut me some slack here. Oh, did it, did it, did it, did it. By the way, guys, the merch did release today. Let me act, It's actually active right now. Unfortunately, when you're seeing this episode, it might be uh, a lot might be sold out. There's six, six seafoam hats and nine pale pink hats, which is not a lot considering I had 20 at the start of the sale, which the start of the sale was 3 p.m. and it's 3.40, so... Um, yeah, they've been, they've been going fast. The flat black hats already sold out. Uh, almost instantly. There wasn't many of them, though. But we still have the hockey jerseys. I release hockey jerseys, and they're not for everyone, believe me. Uh, I tried to get them at a price point for maybe more people could swing it, but let me tell you, custom hockey jerseys are uh, not cheap to make. <laughs> not cheap to make at all. Oh, I hate this guy. The white guy that spawns the spiders? Come on, mate. Oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. Oh, there's so many good things happening. One will use this. And then we'll pick this up and then hopefully get like a couple more hearts. Oh, wow. Hello. Hello. 
We'll definitely do this. This is Soul Heart Central. I mean, we have golden bombs now. I know we don't really need soul hearts, but for the memes. But yeah, the hockey jersey is available until April 10th. Uh, it's for the more hardcore fans, but it's a spring hockey jersey. It's a lightweight hockey jersey, and uh, it's completely custom. I designed them myself. Uh, I, I enjoy them. I love them. I really want one. Bad, but... It's free. Oh. Real estate. We're Someone just bought land. one. It's free. We're giving you a house. It's real estate. <laughs> free. It's a free house for you, Jim. This is free real estate. Someone just bought one, dude. That's the noise when someone buys a jersey. Uh, that happens in my stream. Just a bunch of free real estate. That's hilarious. Whoops. Um, I was going to try to go to my Twitch chat to th properly thank somebody who bought the jersey. <laughs> It's free. All right, hold on. Um, yeah, Kenny. Kenny just grabbed the Wolves official limited time hockey jersey. What a freaking guy, bud. Yo, thank you, Kenny. I appreciate it. Um, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's Black Hole. Oh, shit. This is from the booster pack. Oh, shit. Oh! What is this? What are those? Holy hell. That seems super powerful. Every four rooms that happens? I'm sorry, what? We'll rip the prayer card. We're on to bigger and better things. I think the prayer card did us well. Holy hell, man. That seems really OP. I'm sorry. Why'd you pause the game? Oh, wow. What happened here? We have an update coming through? Yes, we do. Indeed. Windows update. Dude, what the hell was that? First of all, what? The art on it looked insane. It was like pink and purple and... I mean, on a boss, that seems insanely powerful, does it not? Does it last the whole entire time? Like, those gurglings were just kind of... Like, help. I mean, let's try to use it here. Wow. And I think it dan- Oh, no! <laughs> Does it break the rocks? That's really cool, if so. Um, battery? No battery. We have golden bombs, so let's check for the secret room. We have some exploring to do, especially uh, there's a couple locked rooms here. One probably being the library. I would love to try to do the demon beggar, but I don't want to lose the eternal heart, so it doesn't seem super worth it to me. Check out in here. I mean, we'll touch all these for... I know this is going to make... Oh, no, it's the other way around. I always get it twisted. Um, we could go get the, the, uh, prayer card and get the battery for it, but I'm gonna actually take it for the black hole so we can't have it on the boss fight. Um, that Mask of Infamy room is one of the harder rooms. Uh, that's why I used it there. And then Steam Sale, okay, Fought Greed. And there's Eternal Hearts up there, but we're at max HP, so we don't really need the Eternal Hearts. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna fight Mom and Black Hole her. I don't know. Holy frick. I mean, I don't know if it's great against Mom. It's really cool. Okay, it doesn't last the whole fight, but it is really cool that it breaks rocks. I think that's badass. I don't really know about how Black Hole fits into the whole Isaac, you know, story and lore. Black Hole. Yeah, I don't really know. Maybe they, maybe they have a little, you know, how they linked it into the Isaac story, but I'm a big advocate for, like, the items that get added to the game that makes sense, you know? Um, but maybe? Maybe there's some distant ties to the black hole theory or some shit. I have no idea. Um, okay, well, we might as well take these, considering we're gonna get another red heart right back, and, uh, yeah. Let's go down to the, to the womb. We just missed boss rush by 50 seconds. <clears throat> okay, womb one. Um, the map looks like a cross. I don't know if that's uh, supposed to be there. Or if that was on purpose or what. But that is uh, definitely a cross. Still have the High Priestess card. Didn't really find the uh, time to use it. Still holding on to the Bad Trip card for, for no reason at all. Let's check out in here. And yeah, it's three red chests. Yeah, exactly. That's what, I, that's what I was looking for. Krampus fight is fine. Let's get Lump of Coal out of this. What do you say, Krampus? Thank you, bud. 
appreciate that. Bruh, the... Oh my god. The, uh... I'm actually not gonna do this. Not for one red chest. Um... The pills have been so bad. Holy hell. Pills have been so bad. And the ones we've gotten dupes of have been like bad trip and stuff. Always a fun room. That sounded sarcastic, but it's actually not that difficult of a room. It is actually just kind of fun to be able to bait all the brimstones as you circle the map. Okay. By the way, guys, thank you guys so much for the support on the Battleground series. Uh, it is very, very fun and very, very refreshing to kind of go back to the roots of the channel. Like, the roots of this channel were shooters, like FPS and stuff. Uh, granted, it's not really an FPS, but it is a shooter, no doubt about that. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to see the numbers on that series be where they're at. And uh, I hope you guys are having fun with it. I mean, it looks like you're having fun with it because of the likes, the like ratio to views and stuff. Uh, so that's always a good indicator, but like I'm having so much fun with it. So it's really, really nice to see the uh, outpouring support for it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. That blood bag pickup is nice, mainly because of the speed, honestly. Once you get to that 1.5 speed, I know it's not max speed. I know it's not two. But honestly, sometimes max speed is a little too juicy, man. You get a little too uh, fast for your own good. You could, like, run into enemies. It's just it can get too hot. Like, 1.5 is, like, that sweet spot of being, like, just fast enough and not, like, slow where you're going to get hit because you're too slow or anything. Okay, one eyeball down. There was like nothing I could do about that and I actually did pick up the tick which is fine. We haven't seen many trinkets, but It's free Real estate we're giving you land We're giving you a house of course freaking pinky shows its face What it didn't suck Oh, it sucks my bomb, though. That was definitely very anticlimactic. Okay, I thought this at first, I thought this uh, this uh, space ride item would be a little OP. But it seems like it doesn't suck everything. Not everything you think it would suck. Uh, Roid Rage. Okay, well, a syringe is good. A uh, little bit more of a speed up. I think we're at that max HP, or max speed that I was talking about. Definitely not at max HP. Honestly, our HP is kind of kind of faltered and our DPS is kind of falling uh, to the wayside as well you know a little bit of a nerve-wracking womb here if I'm being real considering the black hole maybe isn't as powerful as I once thought it seems powerful for enemies that aren't really like like rooted in the ground you know or like walking around like more loose enemies like enemies that get really affected by knockback oh god um, those seem like the enemies that get really affected by the black hole as well. Which, not all enemies get really affected by, you know, knockback. Which, black hole isn't knockback. Let's just get that, let's just make that clear. It isn't knockback. It's, it's more of like a, well, it is a suck. Oh my god, that, it's a really, really cool item. It really is. Um, again, I just don't know how it fits into the lore, but that might be a little nitpicky. Okay. All right. Take another battery. Another black hole charge. Don't mind if I do. What do you, happens if you black hole the spawners? So black hole definitely deals damage because I wasn't even shooting it. I was killing enemies in it. I see a tinted rock over there, but we don't have flight. We can't get it. Felt like a good time to use high, high Priestess. Why not? You know, it's just been sitting there. We can't use it against it lives. That would hurt us. Okay, hopefully... I mean, another Curse of the Lost. It's just like... Come on. We get it. We get it, man. Holy hell. I love the noise it makes, too. What the heck? That's really cool. It's really cool, man. 
I don't know if we'll have another charge before the boss, hopefully. I mean, that was a big... Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. Definitely gonna. <laughs> Late black hole there. I just knew I had a charge here, so why not use it? Um, all right. Well, time to kill uh, It Lives. Hopefully, the black hole does damage to It Lives. Maybe not. I mean, okay, it's sucking their tears in. Or, it's tears in. Okay. I mean, it didn't do much at all. Damage wise. Isaac. Get the bombs in there. I mean, that's never good when you're bombing it lives. That usually means your damage is like below where it needs to be. Um, really not a fan of it. Like, it doesn't. I understand we have three red hearts, and it might be beneficial for us to get closer to Polaroid, but like. I just don't like that item at all. It doesn't do anything for me, really. I mean, it, it does when you get hit, but I don't know. Maybe maybe I should take it and try to get a, a new love for it. Because that seems like an item I could. Because what does it do? When you get hit, it gives you a Maul the Void black circle, which I guess maybe can in turn turn, it, turn your hit into a black heart if you kill somebody with it? I don't know. I'm kind of riffing right now because I, I haven't used a theme that often. I just know I don't love it. Oh my lord. Tears down and bad trip is what we're rocking right now. Our, the pills have just been horrendous. Horrendous. Dead end? We should probably use black hole a little more liberally. Look at that. Oh, the troll bombs! <laughs> that was so cool. But yeah, we should use it every chance we get. There's really no reason not to. We've learned it's like okay against some bosses, but not great. It's honestly probably a better room clear than a boss killer. Bruh, I'm over it. I'm over it! The bad pills, holy hell. That's another bad trip. They're just everywhere. I mean, if we took Brimstone, this run would have been <laughs> a lot more smooth sailing, but why do you want a smooth sailing run, you know? Well, rip his tears, holy hell. Couldn't even get him out of his first phase with it though. Oh God, big fan. Yeah, our tier rate just doesn't seem that great. <clears throat> our speed and our defense is actually really good, though. Like, being s as small as we are uh, and having big fan and being as fast as we are, our defense and maneuverability is actually kind of the strong spot of this run, which is kind of weird getting Abaddon, like, on the first deal with the devil. You would never really say that or think that, but... It's kind, it's kind of, the DPS is just kind of flatlined. Ever since we denied Brimstone, the game was like, oh, all right, you want to play that game? And then, uh, yeah, here we are. Here we are, fighting Isaac, taking uh, two and a half minutes to kill him. Okay, maybe two more of those. Two more of those waves. Oh, one more, okay. I mean, you get you gain the distance, and uh, Lump of Coal really helps out. Oh, baby. Uh, by the way, guys, I am traveling tomorrow, actually. Oh, I got to check into my flight. Um, yeah, I got to travel tomorrow to, back to California. So, oh, crickets head. Um, the videos, hopefully, will remain daily. Hopefully. Okay, we got a space bar item here. We could always take... Tiny, or anti-grav, I mean. It is a tears up, you know? Maybe anti-grav black hole is like the greatest synergy since sliced bread. You never know. Sliced bread, though, is a great synergy. So yeah, if the videos get a little bit of a hiccup in them, if they're not completely daily or anything, uh, just bear with me as I am traveling across the country. And uh, you got to give me some time to set up the mic and stuff at my girlfriend's place. And all that. I'm excited to go back to Cali, though. 
Callie is uh, pretty damn beautiful, I must say. I'm, I'm an East Coast ride or die kind of guy, but there's no denying how beautiful California is. Holy shit, are they fast? Are they sped up? What is the deal? What's the deal with airline food? Airline food? Isn't it airplane food? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, anti-grav, I'm kind of like trying to just take the tier rate up from it, and I'm spamming it kind of like a chocolate milk almost. Um, I mean, this is this is still very much in question. This is kind of a sketch run. Like, we're kind of just hanging on here. Oh, that's good. I mean, smart fly is good. Soul heart is actually really valuable out of that. Okay. All right. <sighs> but yeah, I feel like the idea of that hit me. I feel like the idea of anti grav and the black hole is like it's a cool idea. I just maybe in in practice it doesn't work as well as I thought it could. But revenge fly, thank you, bud. Appreciate you. All right, the double cage room is definitely going to be one of our toughest, so that is over with. Uh, we did end up getting Beelzebub, which I kind of thought about earlier in the run. Uh, this guy's trying to take all my my keys. I will not have it. I mean, we can't pick that up. We got the tick. All right. I'm sorry, what? Oh, there's still another minion alive? Rip. Rip. Ding, ding. Yeah, so just just to clarify, I don't think Black Hole is OP. When I first used it, I was like, wow, that's powerful. But uh, I think it's actually not that OP. I think it's it's a nice balance, honestly. Okay, we just got to get the blue baby at this point. I mean, the more rooms we go, the more we're taking hits. And it's just, uh, that's really bad that this is a dead end. We got to backtrack all the way. That sucks. That sucks. Jacob's ladder's nice, though. I mean, pause. I'm not even going to touch. We don't need it. I think the black hole is still uh, our go-to space bar item. But Jacob's ladder is a nice little touch on it. Yeah, this would have been huge to have like some sort of mapping card like the Sun of the World. Because, like I said, the more rooms we go to, the more chance of actual death we have. Which may seem like a no-duh statement, but um, it's just the kind of run we have where it's it's powerful enough to clear rooms and stuff. But the past couple room or the past couple floors, we've just been losing health. Like we haven't netted health over the past couple floors, and the more you 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 kind of hang on the game, it's like the less chance you have to get out alive. But yeah, it's going to be probably a little bit till we see the blue baby fight because we went in such a bad direction in the first first run. I mean, this double, the double chests are huge. Lusty Blood is amazing and Chemical Peel is, is good. It's a damage up. I love like the Jacob's Ladder animation. I love how the it like circles the tier. It just looks really smooth. Uh, bum friend? Oh, I'm good. We don't need him. We don't need him. Okay, I think we're powerful enough now to where it's it's really not a big deal. Uh, I think we are going to be able to cruise to the end, especially with this black hole ready and willing. I haven't used it because I kept thinking like, oh, blue baby's coming, but he hasn't. I do want it for Blue Baby. That's why I'm kind of holding back with it. Oh my lord. Okay, now it's now it's completely over. Now it is completely over. Proptosis and then a little more damage up. Uh, we've ended this run very powerful. Very, very powerful. Um, again, like during the Isaac fight, it was a little bit in question still. But it is definitely not in question anymore. Especially with the black hole sucking in all Blue Baby's tears, which are like his strong suit. Well, that's going to be another win. And is that number 30 or are we 29? 30! Let's go, baby. Win streak of 30. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, feel free to leave a like. Helps me out a ton. It's kind of weird seeing 30 under win streak. 
I mean, we've completely smashed our personal best and the Eden streak still going strong. Thank you guys so much for the support on this series. As always, if you haven't seen these two videos listed down below, make sure you go check those out. If you want more daily Isaac content, make sure you hit the pixel face in the middle to subscribe. And every day, a little Isaac video will pop up in your sub box and be like, hey man, I'm here. Where are you at? Also, I took the little post-it note out of the Isaac thumbnail. We're going back to what we used to do, where it's just a super clean thumbnail with just the art on it, no post-it, because I, I kind of, you know, I dropped anti-birth, uh, I think officially for now, uh, unless they come out with a big update, or hopefully the idea is that they, they start infusing Afterbirth with some anti-birth content like bosses and floors and all that. Hopefully that's still in the works and hopefully still a possibility. But I digress. Hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, stay safe, stay up. Peace out.